Uh, yeah, it was two real good teams. I uh, went back and forth throughout the whole game, and um, uh, both teams played their asses off, but um, and then they got it done. Um, I mean, we all hurt. I mean, everyone knows how it feels, and um, don't have a lot of words for it, but obviously we're hurting. Our team's hurting, but that's how it goes when you put yourself out there. I'm real proud of our guys for like, no regrets with our team. I thought our guys played so hard today. Not everything was perfect by no means, but um, I'm going to lose with a group of guys. It's do with those guys any time. And um, we'll take some time. We'll get over this and um, come back next year ready to go. Um, on the third down, um, it looked like there was a protection bust up the middle. Um, we were going to Juwan. I know it looked like Juwan killed him. Uh, won pretty good, but um, Chris Jones got loose in the middle. Uh, I think there was a mistake, not sure, but um, also he's hard got a block. It looked like you thought about it, maybe going for it there, missing the field goal, or was that at all hesitation whether to kick the field goal? There? No, we never thought about there, fourth and four. I mean, even if we do go and score, they still can go down and match it. and. Um, so, no, there wasn't a thought there. Uh, it's just something we talked about with, you know, there, none of us have a ton of experience of it, but we went through all the analytics and talked with those guys, and we just thought it would be better. We wanted the ball third. Um, if both teams matched and scored, we wanted to be the ones who had the chance to go win, and um, we got that field goal, so we knew we had to hold them to at least to a field goal, and if, if we did, then we felt it was in our hands after that. Um, no, no, we decided that before. Greenlaw tore his Achilles. Um, I'm not sure about George. You know, he it was a shoulder thing. He couldn't go there at the end. Was a little bit off and on, but uh, he was playing through a lot of pain there and then. No, we talked on Monday. I mean, last year or when we played each other last time, <clears throat> it was, you know. It took about 25 minutes to actually shake his hand, so we both talked on Monday that um, regardless of who won, um, I mean, I love Andy, I'm tight with Andy, and we, but we talked, both of us were going to do that because it was too hard to get to each other after these Super Bowls. After all these long losses you've had 10 years, what did you tell your team after this one? Anything different? Any, any different tone to the... No, there's nothing different to say. I mean, I don't care how you lose when you lose Super Bowls, especially ones you think you can pull off. Um, it hurts, but... Um, I mean, I think, I don't know, when, you, when you're in the NFL, I think every team should hurt except for one at the end. Um, we've gotten pretty damn close, but uh, we haven't pulled it off, and we're hurting right now, but it doesn't take away from how proud of our guys I am. Um, I'm real proud of them today, too. Um, that's part of sports. It's part of football. It's part of life. But um, I'm glad we put ourselves out there, and I love our team, and we'll recover, and we'll be back, we'll be back next year strong. How do you assess your offense in this game? What's that? How do you assess your offense in this game? How do I what? Assess your offense. Um, I mean, each play is different. How, how do you think Brock played? He just looked like he was definitely moving around. He was moving legs. Was that an, an emphasis to kind of get him outside a little bit? Uh, no, I mean, we called a couple bootlegs and stuff, which is, I mean, you do that on that. But, I mean, that's what Brock does. Brock scrambles. He makes some plays. And, um, I mean, we knew it would be like that, just going. I mean, that was the toughest defense we've been against this year. We knew it going into the game. Um, I mean, that, that's a good group. I mean, the way they mix up the blitzes and stuff and the two shell coverages, they're tough against the run. And um, the man coverage they played was tough, but that's why they haven't given up 27 or more than 27 this year. So um, we had our chances. Um, needed to score a couple touchdowns when we didn't, but um, I, I was happy with Brock. Now you did go for it on the fourth and three earlier. Is that does Mahomes factor into that, like we have to score more? Oh, yeah, 100%. That isn't probably something normally would do, but I um, thought it was the right thing in that situation. Kind of your special teams, had some good moments there, obviously some big gaps there. Uh, how hard is it to kind of swallow those and go forward your game? Um, I mean, I, I, I saw the ball bounce and um, it hit off Luter. And so, I mean, yelling Peter, I don't know. I can't hear it out there. So it looks like he didn't hear it either, and the ball – Took a bad bounce and got him. And um, I didn't actually see what happened on the blocked field goal. I'm not sure there. Um, but yeah, those are some tough plays. You got away from the run game a little bit in the third quarter. What was your thought process there? 
I didn't get a run away from the run game. You, you go three and out, and you don't get drives. So it's, we didn't get away from it. We just didn't stay on the field. How did you feel at halftime with that lead? You got the trick play touchdown. It's obviously going to be a tight game. How were you feeling? Um, there was no feeling on um, the halftime. I mean, it's, we didn't feel like we had a lead. Big lead was zero zero. There's, we could have been up a lot more and not felt any different or down. It's, there was a whole another half of football to play. Uh, final, final play, Kyle. Did you have a good view of it? Did, did Logan just stall getting over to cover Carson? Uh, I didn't have a good view of it. I'm not sure who, who it was, but um, I'm not sure. I thought Brock did a good job. Gave us a chance to win. Um, I mean, same as always, he's unbelievable. Um, yeah, we just threw a, sc a screen to Juwan and threw it back to, um, to Christian. That's a play that a lot of teams run. Um, we've ran it in the past a number of times and um, thought it looked good today. And um, the guys did a hell of a job making that play. No, that's not why we did it. We decided before just, you know, the way we we're going to go, just discussing it. We don't have a lot of experience in that. And our biggest thing was we knew both teams were going to get the ball at least once. Um, so we wanted to make sure if we won the toss, we wanted to, we wanted to be the, th the team who got it the third time. Um, I mean, looked pretty good at the beginning. Got them to a third and one, a fourth and one. Um, I mean, we had a number of guys go down. Um, but I mean that's that's what those guys do. They're real good at it. Um, none. Yeah, fourth and four. I mean, you go for it and get a touchdown. They still got another chance. Um, you don't get it, and then they just got to go down, and kick a field goal. What was the injuries factor in for you guys? I mean, it looked like Caleb was dealing with something obviously great. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, injuries are part of the game. They're always a big deal. I mean, it's always tougher when you lose good guys like that. Um, hopefully, I'll spend a little time with him tonight. We'll see how it goes. But um, I mean, there, you don't say a lot. There's not much to say. You let guys deal with it. You gotta, you gotta feel this. It's not something that just words or anything makes it feel better. You sit there and you deal with it, and you got to do that for a while. But I mean, I'm so proud of Brock. Um, how he shows up every week. How he plays. Uh, he had an unbelievable year, and um, he did a hell of a job today. Uh, I don't give myself a time limit. I, um, I well, deal with it the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, and when it's time to work, which will be sooner than later with how these seasons go, but uh, we'll be ready. We'll come back, and we'll constantly be working on it throughout the whole offseason. Um. And this is my second game as a head coach, but um, I think when you go against guys like Tom Brady and Pat Mahomes, you better never feel comfortable with the lead. I mean, those are two of the best players to ever play the game. And that's why whether you have a lead or your down points, it's, I mean, those guys are always in it. You watch them all the time do that stuff. Thanks, one more. You've talked about not wanting to have regrets on the stage. Can you tell right now do you have any regrets? No, I mean, we... <laughs> Yeah, when, I mean, when we go through football like, and you watch it as part of our job, I mean, any play that doesn't work, you always think about that. Um, but in terms of like everything that we try to do, we try to prepare as hard as we can. Um, and we try to go in there and do exactly what we think is right based off our pr preparation, what's going on in that game, and try to make the – what I can't live with is when I do stuff that I didn't plan on doing or that I didn't do and second-guess myself. And um, I'm – proud of what we did today as a coaching staff and as players in terms of we did we worked and we did everything that we planned on doing we just didn't get it done and any play that didn't work out yeah you always look at that stuff but that's that's how every game is and that's what we work at what's that who do i what um yeah, I, I mean, I heard the most for the players. Those are the guys. I mean, it's just it's such a – can't tell you guys how long it takes to get here and just how long an NFL season is um, going through January and all the way into February. So um, our guys, I heard for the most. It's good.